I'm on my way to my nose surgery. What's it called again? Septoplasty. Septoplasty. Very hard word to remember. And um, this is what my normal face looks like. Um, Adam's driving. He's gonna have to drive me today because I'm gonna be all drugged up. Uh, I don't know what else I say. I might be good for now. Probably good for now. Good for now. Do you have loose teeth, chip teeth, and your arms? Uh, no. So we'll see when you back out to the waiting room. Okay, no. Okay. Thank you. Okay. See you later. Yep. I can play video games today. He said nothing for years. <laughs> right. I meant to ask him that before. He said watch sex, but he didn't mean you can't do something with your hands, right? That um, you can't play now? We can do something with your hands. You, <laughs> he said just like watch TV, but you can do right. something with your hands. Right, yeah. We'll play Kirby. Kirby eat smoothies. Cool. I'll play Kirby. We need to rent more service a little bit. I don't know if I want to stop and do that yet. I can pay for late fees if there's late fees. I'll give you money. So, does that need to be changed again? Yeah, I'm going to change it one more time. Just get it green. Y'all got any questions at all as far as. I leave up. I leave up. Some of this too, um, you'll be coughing up a little bit of blood. Just what's in the back of your throat. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that, but whatever. There's really nothing on this one. It's a little tight this time. So now is the first time I found out that I'll have to um, take a little extra time off work. The big difference is bending over. I do have to bend over my job so my nose will bleed more. I can see that it's bleeding right now, actually. I'm gonna have to change this. Look, it's bleeding more and more and more. And it's gonna bleed more if I bend over. Look, I need chopstick too. <laughs> and, uh, I cannot bleed the next few days and I have to sleep, like, in an up reclining position so that it doesn't bend over at all. I can't lay flat when I sleep for a while. Yeah, that means I'm gonna need more days off than just one because I can't bend over and bleed. I just found out. <laughs> The day of to let them know I'm not gonna show up to work, you know? It was stupid. Why would I do that? I was just like, oh, no, by the way, you're gonna have a, a not extra hand, and you're not gonna have me a person of short today and tomorrow, even though I was scheduled, you know? And you're gonna find out like two seconds before I'm supposed to be there. Like, no, fuck that. I wanna call them now, I think. It just. I, I want them to have notice, you know, that's fucking you're, up. You're off until Wednesday, we can call them Wednesday and let them know, or we can call them tomorrow, Why whenever, you whenever, because you're not, they told you not to make any big decisions or life-changing anything until, for 24 hours, so you're not calling anybody. The nurse assured me that a job with bending over I cannot do for five days. And there well, will be bending over with my job. I know, and, and we're going to take care of that. There is bending over up the ass. There is bending over to pick up things like left and fucking right. Okay, there's, there's bending over with any one of the tasks that we're doing. It's just, I'm, I'm going to go to work. And if You're I, not going to go to work. Yeah, I'm saying hypothetically, if I went to work, no matter which task I did, I would be gushing blood. That's why I can't go for five days, which is out of my control. Well, I 
mean, you're just, you're not going to gush blood every day, is the thing, but yeah, you're going to be too sore to do much. Something that scared me is I heard people on my left talking about how they operated on a nose on a guy and they found a brain tumor. I thought they were talking about me, but they weren't. <laughs> I found out a little bit later. That was a little bit scary. They did not find a brain tumor on me. Hopefully, <laughs> that makes me brain tumor free then. That was scary to find that out. Thinking I had one, and then realizing I didn't. <laughs> I really wish they could, like, have separated us with walls and not curtains. That was not a pleasant moment to think I had that. <laughs> but I don't. Thank God. I want to live longer than that. I don't want that to happen. I still don't want that to happen. I guess I want to do with my life. Lots of things I want to do that that would impede on. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take off my bandages. Ew, it's bloody messy. And look, I got bandages like three feet up my nose, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. Now I'm just going to put some more on. Because <laughs> that's what good boyfriends do for boyfriends. No, it's not going to be as bloody for a while. <laughs> Helps if I eat soft food. Thank you, Adam. You're welcome. Um, is there something wrong with my eyes? Do I still feel weird? Okay. Adam says that I'm all wired right now, so... I just, uh... want to... Ah, light. Anyway. Uh, I do feel kind of different and better, probably because of pain meds and stuff. But, what have you noticed from this different? Come on, tell me a little bit of information. It's nothing to be ashamed of, it's just pain meds for a surgery. You just, the way you're talking and your eyes are all twitchy and they are. over. Are they? Well, and, and you're actually, talking like you're whispering and... But you can hear me though, it's a little bit. You're pacing and uh, yeah, well, I just have a lot of extra energy. Cool. Uh, if I get an energy. It's been a long day. <laughs> Come on. It has been a wonderful, wonderful day because I got to spend it with the love of my life, actually. And he got to drive me there, and he got to drive me back. Although I don't remember the drive back, but it happened. And there's certain things I don't remember, but I know they happened. And and he's changed my gods like 12 times, and I've filmed them, but I'll probably might not show all of them. Don't know yet. Um, and <laughs> and. And we were playing video games, and we watched Weeds, and we watched, what else? We watched Sarah Silver Ridge Show. Yeah, it kicks ass. Fun day. I'm so glad to spend time with my husband again. It's been a long time since we've had a little day together in the house. Yeah, kick ass. And that's it for now, right? Good? That's all. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye. 49 over 97 was your high. Yeah, my high was 149 over, over what? 97. And what's this one? 150, 87, 116. That's what we took just now on my symptom positive day. I did not move and get my camera. But until your pulse rate is 116. Yeah, pulse rate is 116. That's like ridiculous. Has it ever been that high? Holy crap. I guess I That's like if now. you have been running. Well, like on a three on the treadmill, mine gets up to about 105, 106. If you're doing three on a treadmill for about an hour. Well, I would be up to 116 with these pain Because your heart's are. racing. Yeah, my heart does feel like it's racing. Your bit. body's going through pain, and pain increases your heart rate. Oh, oh wow. Interesting.
There's no other way I can hear my heart right now. I just feel fast. I can usually fast. Nothing better than spending a day with my boyfriend after my septopathy, and I'm even going to take my slice of cake that I got for my birthday. Angry Birds! I'll take that back with him. We're going to watch some more Sarah Silverman and stuff. Bye. Last night, I took my, um, my pain pill and went like mad with like a million miles an hour and I had to go to bed at 11.30 and went to bed at like 12.45 and then kept getting up and down, up and down, up and down and got more water, got water by my side. I woke up many times between 3 and 4 but I was finally able to get to sleep in like an upright position with all my pillows. <laughs> um, now him and I are off to the hospital for the last time. I can take all the stuff out of my nose. It's really great. Anything you want to add about experience? No. Okay, well... I'm glad it's coming to an end. I can have those three feet of stuff out of my nose now. Uh, I'm just kept there at the moment. You just sit up here towards me just a little bit, David. The first thing I'm going to do is just clip this stitch. This will not hurt, okay? Just hold real still. Okay. Now what I want you to do while I take this out... Can I please put this... Yes. Yeah. I'll put that over to the side. What I want you to do is keep breathing through your mouth and don't hold your breath. Okay. Now it's possible there will be some blood that will come out. If it does, you just open your Kleenex up and just hold it on your upper lip to catch it. Okay? Here we go. All right. Now, like I said, keep breathing through your mouth. Don't hold your breath. Just keep your breathing. <gasps> don't hold oh. your breath. You're doing there great. You go. Here you go. Good job. Fine. 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 Right. Here we go. And just one more. Here.